okay, but I just want to point out that Technoblade fans are on average more experienced with the game because of a few reasons. These are that Technoblade rarely appears outside of Minecraft community, Dream being more popular and people not knowing much about Technoblade and why he's good, and Technoblade having a big part of Minecraft's OG players in his fan base. I, for example, have watched him since way before Minecraft Monday. Why do I think people don't know much about why Technoblade is so good? Some people think, for example, that Dream is better just because of his manhunts, and Technoblade is good only in 1.8 PvP. This can be easily debunked by number 1. 1.8 PvP is way harder to learn. It took me less than a month to learn 1.16 to the level, same level, of 1.8 knowledge I needed to grind for for over 2 years, maybe even 3. Not even mentioning I was not that engaged in 1.16 and played it rarely, I could probably get there in one week. Number 2. Technoblade is number 2 player in all of Skywars and all 3 official leaderboards. Number 3. Technoblade has more dedication than Dream. Say whatever you want, I know Dream has his speedruns and spent a lot of time, but look at anything Technoblade ever did that is actually big. Potato War. Eight months of plotting and scheming to a point of almost committing a crime, and two weeks of farming potatoes, an average of 11 hours a day. Bed Wars. Win streak of 1400, games last a long time, very good player Skywars, second worldwide, played thousands of games, Dream Duel, trained long hours, didn't know anything about 1.16, started from scratch. Dream was already pretty okay at 1.8, and it is the only reason he managed to lose only 1-4 to to Technoblade on that version. MCC, MC Monday, Tournaments, one of the best players, trained for long hours, MCU, killed almost 50 players, that actually only took a few hours, lol. You get one point. Dream SMP, grinded to a point of having two stacks of Wither Skulls, being the most stacked, always prepared for everything, can even flex on Dream with e.g. fireworks, was the first to create tridents, etc. Took extremely long. I know it is scripted, but Technoblade didn't care, and still puts a lot of time into it. Dream put a lot of time into his achievements, but Technoblade is on another level. Number 4. This one will not be liked, because people don't actually understand the math. Dream cheated at a 1.16 speedrun. I have seen Dream's response on Dream XD, but I am convinced that the response is not true by three analysis of the Dream's math which I watched. Half of it is wrong. Moderators did nothing wrong. The paper with math doesn't even have one of the brackets. I am sorry, but it is not done with any care about math. If you want to see it for yourself with an explanation, Go to Matt Parker's video about the situation, it can describe the whole situation to a viewer with a description of math at the end. It is from an unbiased perspective of a person who is a mathematician and does not care who is right. He concluded that it does not matter if we pick 11 streams or 6, because if 10 billion people played Minecraft for a century, no stopping, and all they did was trade it, at a rate of one trade every second, then they would only do a little more than 3 times 10 to the 19th trades, over 500 times less than both Dream and moderators think is needed to get Dream's luck or a better one, one time on average. I checked that it is correct on my Google calculator! It is literally so easy! All you need to do is 10 billion times 60 times 60 times 24 times 365 times 100 and check if it is around 3 times 10 to the 19th or 3 and 19 zeros. 
Sorry to anyone who thinks Dream didn't cheat, but it is like that. The naive probability is 1 in 2 times 10 to the 22, and you can go to Dream's document yourself to check it. I think that Dream is a great player because of his manhunts and speedruns other than 1.16, but he cheated. That is the end of what I had to say. If you disagree, please reply to me and debunk my points. I am pretty sure, though, that any point besides possibly point one can't be debunked, because we can say that if Dream managed to lose only one to four to Technoblade, an inversion that is much harder to learn than even considering the fact that Dream was already okay at 1.8 and Technoblade had no experience in 1.16, it may equal out. It is anyone's opinion, but I think it would still give Technoblade a disadvantage. Anyways, that is all I had to say.